No, small people get the real advantage here. If everyone's smiling, it means it's okay. Andy, where do you want this? <laughs> Hi, I'm Martin Salter, the National Campaigns Coordinator for the Angling Trust. I'm here on the beautiful Little River Whitewater at Potbridge in Hampshire uh, as part of the Environment Agency-led Rivers Week. This is about bringing together people from the Wild Trout Trust, for, uh, just ordinary volunteers, people from the, the Wildlife Trust themselves, angling interests, anyone with a real interest in rivers and our environment to show how we really can make a difference. We can improve habitat, we can provide cover for fish from from uh, fish eating birds and other predators, uh, we can create uh, spawning uh, gravels uh, where, where, where the, the fish can recruit successfully, we can increase the flow and we can basically undo some of the damage that mankind's done to our rivers over the years. And the Angler Trust is here to, to show its support for this fantastic initiative. Uh, we think the debate uh, around our fisheries has to focus on habitat and we really applaud the Environment Agency and all the volunteers who've turned up today you know, on a pretty wet, soggy, uh, uh, soggy uh, Tuesday morning to really try and make a difference to, to one of Hampshire's almost unsung chalk streams. Here we've got a, a shallow glide that goes up onto a ramp of gravel. Potentially fantastic spawning location. What we're trying to do is mimic something similar to the other margin. You see you've got that, that lovely little um, tangled mattress of, of bramble in a shallow margin with no flow. That works quite well. It'd be nice to have a bit more cover down this side. So we're just going to use some of the brushings and make like a, the top end of a massive witch's broom. Pop it in so it mimics like a weed bed. A little tangle of branches to protect fish this size. <laughs> Where you get a tree that overhangs like this, you've got high shading, it's much more valuable if you can fold the trunk into the channel and make what we call an undershot deflector. So Jim is just going to put a post in there to secure this, but this is a living deflector and the way we've done that is to hinge it. It's, it's basically it's like laying a hedge. You take a chunk of the outside of the branch off and allow the bark to fold inwards. That will keep the tree alive uh, and with any luck you'll start to, to sprout upwards and it means that it's still attached to the bank, so it's not a flood risk, but when the level comes up a bit, the flow hits the underside of the trunk, drives down, helps to scour a little pool with a roof over the top. Perfect for chub, perfect for trout. margins and then it's a nice little tangled mess that fish can swim into where they've got a good chance of not getting eaten by a fish eating bird so it's uh, it's a little bit of cover for fish. And just that little bit of string's enough is it? Well it will it'll, and we'll probably put another piece on just to make it make it a bit, bit, bit more sturdy and we'll lash it to a little either to a tree root if there's one already there if there's not we'll just put a little chestnut stake in the margin. square of the flow, but in a situation like this you're trying to concentrate the flow towards the centre of the channel, 
and you always get those erosive forces at right angles to the structure. So that's why we point them slightly upstream so that it kicks the flow away from the bank because you don't want the channel to get wider and towards the centre of the channel. And what we'll do once we've actually pushed that in, we're going to get you to do a bit of chiselling off the end here to loosen the grab when it starts to go and And we'll get a nice little scale pot and the material that gets blown out will form a nice little ramp further down. So we want another one of those in here. That's it, just break through the grass, that's fine. It's not, it's not that hard here actually, but that's fine. It's not hard to break this there. I'm sure we'll break through it. <laughs> Put that in there like that. Actually, on the bottom of the tenant. Right. So, where someone just let go of it.